Mega Man, throughout his many years of being the Blue Bomber, has had to evade a multitude of holes. I mean, this guy's dodged more holes than an amateur golfer, and some of those holes have got to be stupid, right? There's so many of them. They can't all be great, which is why today, we're going over the stupidest hole from every Mega Man game, 1 through 11. Mega Man 1 may have less levels than the rest of the Mega Man games, but it still has quite a few stupid holes. The giant one at the beginning of Gutsman stage is one I'm assuming the majority of people would claim to be the stupidest, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. I like this section of Gutsman stage a lot. Literally just look at the bottom of the platforms and you will never die. It is not that hard. Get good. Stop complaining. The giant pit in Iceman stage is far worse, but I talked about this a good bit in my worst platforms video because this really seems like more of a platform problem than a hole problem. Also, some of my subscribers may think this video is going to be the same as my stupidest jumps video, but these videos are not the same in the slightest. In the stupidest jumps video, I said the stupidest jump in Mega Man 1 are these flame pillars from Wily Stage 1, and trust me, there are not any holes there. So how could it be the same? And I know the comment section is not full of the smartest people on the planet, but I really hope you guys can understand the difference between a jump and a hole. They are not the same. Fireman stage has this weird hole that you can sometimes glitch through, and because it's so glitchy, you could say this hole is stupid, but I actually like this hole a lot, so I'm not gonna do it. There are a few holes in Bomb Man stage that can be a bit frustrating, but I wouldn't necessarily call any of them stupid. However, there is a worse version of the Bomb Man holes in Wily 2, and these things I certainly would call stupid. Mega Man 1 in general is a pretty easy game, and I think these stupid holes in Wily 2 may be the most challenging area in the entire game. I already hate it when things jump out of pits to attack you, so to have an entire area where this just happens 50 times in a row for the entirety of the stage is extremely horrible, which is why these holes are all tied for the stupidest hole from Mega Man 1. Mega Man 2 has a lot more opportunities to have stupid holes on account of having more stages than Mega Man 1. Air Man stage is one giant hole in the sky, but I like Air Man stage a lot, so you already know this hole isn't stupid. Heat Man stage, of course, has that very notorious block puzzle, and at the very end of the lava section, there is a bottomless pit, but I think that's just good game design, so it's not the stupidest. The beginning and end of Bubble Man stage has a few holes, but if you die there, literally get good. What is the matter with you? Pull yourself together, come on, don't die here. Woodman stage, believe it or not, has a few holes along the bamboo section of the level, and these are actually very stupid. They're extremely easy to avoid, which already makes them look pretty dumb, but what makes them actually annoying is the fact that they get in the way of the giant zip that you do in this stage. Of course, you can just memorize where the holes are, which is what you are supposed to do when you zip, but that's really annoying and I don't like it. Sadly, this isn't the most annoying hole from every Mega Man game though, so this hole is off the hook for now. The latter section of Crash Man stage I guess could be considered as a hole since it is easy to fall off of, but I don't want to count this because really it's just a ladder that's in the way, and I'll talk about that whenever I do a video on the stupidest ladder from every Mega Man game 1 through 11. But without further ado, the stupidest hole for Mega Man 2 is one that isn't so hard to deal with on its own, being this one from Metal Man stage. For some reason, this hole always gives me anxiety, and I feel like Mega Man just won't be able to make it to the other end of the jump, plus if you dare going for that E-Tank down there, you're in for a bad time. I do absolutely love a Metal Man stage though, and I do not think this hole is bad game design or anything like that, but for the sake of both this video and my childhood, I'm saying this hole right here is the stupidest hole for Mega Man 2. Mega Man 3 has the Doc Robot stages, which would lead you to believe there must be a very large amount of stupid holes, but it turns out, against all odds, every single hole from the Doc Robot stages are actually intelligent. Even in the Wily Castle, there are not any holes that stand out as too stupid, but luckily for the video, there are still a few in the Robot Master stages. We already know the holes by the cloud platforms are stupid, but I've already cried about this section in my worst platform and stupidest jump videos, so there's no way I'm doing it again. Though this section does suck. 
suck. Seriously, the hole is stupid, the platform is stupid, the jump is stupid. This section is stupid. I love Snake Man's stage, but this section right here makes it hard to say that. Gemini Man's stage has a few holes spread throughout the level, and while none of these holes are that hard to avoid, they do manage to steal a few of my lives once every blue moon. Spark Man's stage has a few holes surrounded by spikes and crazy moving platforms that shove you into spikes, but I actually really enjoy all of these sections. Now, maybe it's just because I'm a professional Mega Man player, though, so if you want to enjoy the hard sections of Mega Man, you have to subscribe, and then you'll be able to awaken your inner Mega Man powers. It's the only way to do it. Subscribe! Hurry up, what are you doing? You're gonna run out of time! The end of Top Man stage has a fairly long hole with tops to guide you through, but the only thing stupid about this hole is the fact that it's never killed a single Mega Man player in the history of the game's existence. What I've always thought were the stupidest holes in Mega Man 3 are any of the holes in Magnet Man stage. Now, these holes don't seem too suspicious at first glance, but the magnetic properties of this level really make it difficult to properly get over these stupid holes. I kind of want to say that every single one of the holes that are affected by magnetism tie for the worst, but instead of that, I'm actually just going to go with this hole specifically as the worst hole from Mega Man 3. It should be obvious to why, too. I mean, come on. Disappearing blocks above a hole with magnetic properties? What madman came up with this? Mega Man 4, as we all know, is incredibly underrated, but the holes in this game are absolutely diabolical. Every hole in Toad Man stage is stupid, but that's mainly because of the rain, and the entirety of Skull Man stage is basically above a giant hole, but I haven't fallen off Skull Man stage since I was like two years old. But to cut things short, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the worst hole for Mega Man 4 is every single hole that has these stupid enemies jumping out from the bottom. I don't know why, but in Mega Man 4 specifically, I feel like these pit enemies are worse than ever. The ones in Dustman stage are horrible, the ones in Dr. Cossack stages are horrible, and frankly, every single one of these holes are completely stupid! Which is why every single hole with an enemy hidden deep within is tied for the worst hole for Mega Man 4. Mega Man 5 is a game that most people would consider to be a bit challenging, but I actually think the holes in this game are not very stupid. Yes, there is this long, horrible section in Crystal Man stage, but the holes are not what's stupid about this section. It's the jumps, but I talk about that more in my Stupidest Jumps video. Gyro Man has a few holes in his stage, but none of them are difficult, and I think Napalm Man stage has a couple of holes as well that are fairly difficult, but I wouldn't consider any of them to be stupid. Proto Man's castle has several challenging holes and so does Dr. Wily's castle, but again, none of these feel particularly stupid. I will say though, the holes in Stone Man stage are a bit stupid because they're clearly just there so we have an excuse to use the platform and look at Mega Man's robo butt. I mean, come on, you literally cannot jump over this thing without the platform and it's not like riding the platform is any challenge at all whatsoever, so the existence of these holes are very dumb. But you know what? I think the stupidest hole for Mega Man 5 is actually the hole in the wall you leave when finding the secret beat level. Yep, that is the stupidest hole from Mega Man 5, ladies and gentlemen. My video, my rules. Mega Man 6, the most polished game on the NES, probably has some of the most annoying holes of all time, but we're about to find out if any of them are stupid as well. Wind Man stage is absolutely full of idiotic holes, but I will admit I am a little bit biased against the Wind Man stage, so I'm not going to hold these stupid holes against him. But I still think Wind Man is ugly. Plant Man stage has some of the most rage-inducing holes of all time. I'm not sure if it's technically the jump or the hole or even the enemies that are stupid, but either way, I absolutely despise these jumps and Plant Man stage because either you beat it on your first try, or you end up wasting all afternoon trying to get past the exact same spot. But despite my undying rage against Plant Man stage, I still think there exists a hole even stupider within Mega Man 6 being the majority of Mr. X stage 4. Now most clinically sane people just use the rush jet adapter thing to fly past this, but if we sat here and took a second to think about how ridiculous this section would be without the rush adapter, the sheer and blatant idiocy of these holes start to really sink in. Not only are they everywhere, and not only do we have pretty lackluster platforms to get through it, but also there are stupid birds constantly trying to send you to your bitter demise. And if there's one thing stupid about the Mega Man games, it's birds trying to knock you down bottomless pits, so the entirety of Mr. X Stage 4 is the stupidest hole for Mega Man 6. Now that we've gone over the NES holes, it's time to go over Mega Man's newer holes, and now that I say that out loud, I understand why the holes are normally referred to as bottomless pits, but... 
We're too far into the video at this point to rewrite anything, so let's just forget about this and move on. Come on, let's go. Mega Man 7 is the first classic game on the Super Nintendo, other than like Mega Man Soccer, so let's see if the Super Nintendo is the cure to having stupid holes. We already know that Slash Man's turd looking logs are horrible, but again, this is a matter of stupid and horrible platforms, not stupid and horrible holes. The Wily stages have a lot of challenging holes, but the Wily stages are literally the final stages of the game and are supposed to have the most challenging sections of the entire game. Also, I like these holes, especially this giant one with the remixed Gutsman platforms. This hole in Cloudman stage gives me trouble, but I think the problem here is the jump and not the hole, just because of the awkward placement of this enemy right here. But there is one hole in Mega Man 7 that stands out as being extra stupid, which are the holes in Cloudman's boss fight. Now, I don't think I've ever died from these holes in my entire life, but the fact that there are holes at all to fall into in the middle of a boss battle really grinds my gears, and I do not to mean Mega Man 11 style. Cloud Man is also one of the easiest boss fights of all time, so these holes almost never get utilized in any capacity, which is why I think they're the stupidest holes for Mega Man 7. Mega Man 8 is chopped full of both stupid holes and just stupid things in general, but we all know that any hole associated with Jump Jump Slide Slide is automatically the worst. And I know there is a hole pretty much every time they say Jump Jump, but I don't care how many of them there are. They all tie as the absolute stupidest holes from Mega Man 8. Rockman and Forte, while being the coolest Mega Man game of all time, does actually have its fair share of completely stupid holes. In the intro stage, there's a section in the rain that is eerily similar to Toad Man's level, and these holes are certainly stupid, but they feel easier to deal with than Toad Man, and, well... Anything that's easier to deal with than Toad Man can't be too stupid. Tingu Man is also in this game from Mega Man 8, and his boss fight has some holes on the edges, just like Cloud Man's, but I'm not gonna let more of Mega Man 8's wrongdoings mess with Rockman and Forte in these videos once again, so Tingu Man, enjoy it while it lasts, because you're safe for now. Magic Man stage has a few suspect holes, but nothing out of the ordinary, and of course, Astro Man has its fair share of holes as well, but that's one of my favorite stages in the entire game, so I will not be tolerating any slander towards Astro Man stage. I like it. But there is one section of Rockman and Forte with a hole so massive and big you'd think you just fell down a ravine in Minecraft. Of course, this section is that infamous King boss fight with the stupid platforms. Seriously, I am convinced that King Stage 2 is the only reason people actually think Rockman and Forte is too hard of a game because this section is sadistically difficult in ways that only the most mentally unwell of individuals could have possibly come up with. Freak you, King Stage 2. To, this boss fight is the stupidest hole from Rockman and Forte. Mega Man 9's stupidest hole is Galaxy Man's weapon, because it's a black hole, and black holes are canonically extremely overpowered, and the implications of this are very stupid, so yeah, Galaxy Man's black hole is the stupidest hole from Mega Man 9. Mega Man 10 is an amazing game, and while challenging, does not actually have too many unfair or stupid holes. Some of the holes in Sheep Man stage can be a bit tricky just because the conveyor belts are a bit sticky, but we all know I'm only bringing up Sheep Man stage so I can give a shout out to Sheep Wave TV. Wily stage 2 is chopped full of conveyor belts, spikes, and holes, but I love this section and actually think it is one of the most fun areas of Mega Man 10. It can be a bit challenging, I guess, but if you are subscribed to me, you will get through it on your first try without dying just like I do every single time I ever play Mega Man 10. Pump Man stage has a few stupid holes here and there, but everything for the most part is still manageable. But there is one hole in Mega Man 10 that's fairly easy, but still somehow manages to be incredibly stupid against all odds. This hole I'm referring to is the one that gets covered up in sand in Commando Man stage. I mean, I literally cannot see the hole. How is this fair? How? Somebody tell me. This is just completely stupid, which is why this hole is the stupidest hole from Mega Man 10. 
Mega Man 11 is an amazing Mega Man game, and while it doesn't seem to get as much love as the rest of the series, I can assure you the levels are just as deserving of the Mega Man title. And so are the stupid holes. Impact Man stage is basically Swiss cheese the way it's full of holes, but none of them are stupid. I mean, they're all the most basic run-of-the-mill Mega Man holes you could possibly imagine. Some of the holes in Wily 1 are super stupid, but I think this is more of a case of strategical enemy placement than actual hole stupidity. Though I will admit, you could argue a case for pretty much any hole in Wily 1 to be the stupidest from Mega Man 11. Hundred Man stage has all those crazy jumps in the wind over a giant hole, but I love that section a ton, so it's not stupid at all, and I guess the holes in Block Man stage are there. They definitely exist, but I'm pretty sure I didn't even notice these holes the first time I beat Mega Man 11. But what I think are the absolute stupidest holes in Mega Man 11 are the ones from Bounce Man stage with these freaks jumping out of them. I like Bounce Man stage, and I hate enemies that jump out of pits, but these enemies straight up stop you from falling in the pit. Like, if you try to kill yourself by jumping down one of these holes, then one of these stupid freaks will jump out and actively prevent you from dying. Which is pretty stupid, considering these guys are on Team Dr. Wily and all, which is why I think these holes are the stupidest holes from Mega Man 11. Those were the stupidest holes from every Mega Man game. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, but uh, if you didn't, then you're not just a hole, you're a bee hole and the B stands for butt.